George Gamble, Bobby Thompson, the season-long pace setters in the Jack Sears Trophy, and it's all come down uh, to the sharp end of the battle. But let's get the story of the season. George, you were fastest out of the blocks with that amazing meeting at uh, Donington, first of all. Yeah, we uh, we got off to a really good start, to be fair. Obviously, a podium in race two at uh, the first round of the season. So, uh, and, and we've had a win along the way as well at Knock Hill. But uh, unfortunately, we've had it, we've had really up and down sort of meetings. We've either had a, you know, a storming weekend or we've had a bit of misfortune with some you know electrical problems. So, yeah, it's come it's come down to the wire between me and Bobby. So, uh, we've got six races now uh, to see, see what uh, comes of it. A new hit form uh, immediately at Brands Hatch uh, in the second meeting. Uh, what did that first podium mean to you? It's nice just getting it out of the way, isn't it? I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> I'd wish it was a win, but to just get a third is incredible. Uh, for the boys, they work so hard, you know, bring this Cooper into the uh, into the championship. So, yeah, just it's amazing. But, uh, you know, after that's done, straight into the next round and just trying to beat this guy beside me. So how has the season evolved? How have you seen the car evolving and your own performance during the course of the season? Um, actually, at the start of this uh, season, when it was a bit cooler, we was going a lot better. Uh, and then as it got hotter and hotter, we actually lost pace uh, compared to the front of the grid. Uh, we found out what that is at Fruxton last weekend and we managed and the car just come alive again. So I'm hoping today and tomorrow we have the same sort of uh, feeling in the car. And George, coming back into the championship, what would a title like this potentially mean for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a very prestigious thing to win. I think both of us aren't eligible next year now because we've both got a podium. So, you know, I think it'd be a really good thing to win because obviously you're not going to get another chance at it. So, uh, yeah, no, looking at some of the people that's won it in, in previous years have gone on to do to do a lot of things in the championship. So, yeah, it'd be good to mark your name. And it's, it's a competition that sort of takes place under the radar as far as many spectators are concerned. Uh, but what is the atmosphere and the rivalry like out there in the sort of back half of the field, if I can put it like that? <laughs> it's tougher than the front, I can tell you that. You know, having that podium at the start of the year is a bit more relaxed, a lot more respect. Um, but yeah, mid pack's hard work. You know, everyone's trying to get that golden ticket and come through to the front, which we're not seeing this year. It's hard, it's so close. Everyone's within the same second. Um, it's a hard battle in yeah. the mid pack. And target for the weekend, what is it, a 32-point deficit you've got to make up? What, it, what are your thoughts for the weekend? Yeah, unfortunately, we had two DNFs at Thruxton, so uh, it's, it does give uh, Bobby a bit of a, a margin, you know, so uh, we, we really need some luck. And, um, yeah, we've, we've just got to qualify well. Like Bobby's just said, it, it's, it's so close. You've got to qualify at the front to have half a chance of a good result all weekend. So, um, And this is probably the worst track as well, isn't it, for being close? So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a challenge. Well, all the best to, to both of you and we'll see how it all evolves here and, uh, and a brand's house, George and Bobby. Thank you.